to a very special, unannounced, unplanned live stream. You might hear me rummaging around because that's pre I'm preparing a space for this enormous box that I was received. Please forgive my very Hulk homey shoes. So, I got myself a 3D printer. I want to make absolutely clear, this video is not sponsored. I wish it was, but uh, I paid all for this with my own money. I am going to uh, look at the comments, but what I'm mostly going to do is to set a timer soon. I don't, well, I'm oh, sure I can put on a second camera. Second camera, uh, add source, where's my add source? Share screen. No, where, where did they move the add source? Right, guests. Present screen share, extra camera. And we got this one. Just make it a bit nicer because it's very, very messy cable out of the way. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but at least a bit presentable. Okay, let's turn that camera on. Oh, I think I need to mirror it. First, let's watch at the screen. Yep, I need to mirror it. Mirror the source. Video settings, mirror camera. There we go. And this is my painting spot. But like I said, this is a very impromptu. Uh... There we go, this should be enough. And I want to set a timer because they say you can unbox this in 50 minutes. How about I turn off the security for a moment so i can actually look uh, da, 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 da. and turn off because if i want to set put on a timer i don't want everyone to know what i'm using etc clock word clock timer now i'm going to use a stopwatch can you see the stopwatch it's not moving just yet so don't worry about that can't use it and make it any bigger but it's just to show that it's continuous they say you can set it up in 15 minutes so we're going to try that of course uh, with the side note that i am fully acceptable of the 30 and the even 30, uh, 50, 45, 45, that's the word, because I don't know what I'm doing and I might need some help to just get it up because it's a used box. It has a very big sticker with this side up, glass, fragile, handle with care, and the delivery driver delivered it on its side. So that's promising. So let's get a little knife. Uh, how about we turn on the stopwatch? So uh, I do hope you don't mind my clogs, my housey clogs. Chair a bit away, knife, and let's carefully open it. So they say it's set up in 15 minutes. So I'm not sure if that includes unboxing it, but we're just gonna see how far we get. Thing I want to do is set it up in the space where it needs to be. And print the banshee. They say it can print it in 15 minutes. Okay, please keep this box. We strongly recommend keeping this box to be used in case of a return or a warranty claim. The original box will provide the best protection for shipping to avoid any damage. Yes, I can still read upside down. Uh, scan to watch the unboxing tutorial. Okie dokie. That's going to need my other phone, so because I have one with a timer. And I'm 
probably gonna install the software on the one that's uh, having the timer. So we're going to the barcode scanner. Uh, and we got a link. Opening in browser. Oh, I see a comment. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna see that. I'm, I'm very hopeful. I really hope it's, uh, it's promising and I hope it's easier to maintain. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. After completing the self-test, we strongly recommend that you upgrade the print firmware to the latest version. Internet connection required and then enjoy printing. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, step one, unboxing and removal. Take the printer out of the box using the two plastic handles and place it on a flat surface. Remove the protective foam and cardboard uh, from the top. Pull out the accessory box. Note the printer weighs about 9.6 kilograms. So I might need to ask for some assistance. And if so, we'll just pause. We're at two minutes in already. Uh, this one can be removed. And now I'm going to turn the chair so I can grab it easier. They want me to grab this fla these flaps. I do hope you all will see what I'm unboxing. And of course, I will move the camera as soon as it's uh, on its spot. So you need to pull this up. Woo! Yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is remove these. Because that's already, uh, I need to put it somewhere. But because I need to put it quite high. Okie dokie. Now, box and all. Box goes down. Okay, and put it on the chair for now. Removing all the things I can trip from. And then we're gonna put it, oh, it's, plastic is already ripping. And we're moving it to this spot where it's its final place. Okay, got that part. Now, box needs to move and put it on the chair because that means it's easier to move around. So yes, I am doing cleanup as well. This is why I accept a 30 minute uh, uh, unboxing as well and ready to print. Right, um, so now you have a view of a lovely trash heap. So let's move the chair and then we're gonna move the camera. So I'm not sure how wiggly wobbly the camera is gonna be. So please forgive me, uh, even if I'm in shot. I apologize for my summary attire. There we go. I got a new camera spot, a uh, new camera stand that can go a lot higher. Downside, there's now a printer in front of my screen, so I have no idea how the screen looks. And there's some trash. Now you have a lovely view of my printer, so that's not good. Okay, almost. There's the printer. And yes, I know it's a very messy mess at the moment. Okay. And now we need to remove the protective foam and card box from the top. Pull out the accessory box. Okay, we're still at this part. Because at the next part, they already have things unplasticked. So... They kind of missed that step. And considering how much of an idiot I am, this shows the user friendliness. But uh, I think I can, I can uh, remove some plastic. Okay. So, remove 
the board. There's a quick start guide. But it's not telling me to get it yet, so let's use these tapes maybe for later. And that's in this quick start guide and how it works. Okay, but we're still at the process of removing the plastic. And it's quite hot in here. It's 25 degrees. Okay, where can I pull it up? I can pull it up over here. And I want to do as much as I can on my own because that will prove how user friendly it is. And there's a little plastic over here. Sorry for my big bum in the view. Whew. Okay, all this heat is not helping. This can get some extra feet. Oh, <clears throat> that's very uh, greasy or silicone. -y. Do not touch the uh, side things where things go up and down. Okay, so this is. And I really. Cable management will be done later. Okay, we have some more foam here. But they're only talking about the accessory box. So we're just going to remove the accessory box for now. Nothing else. Check the accessory is in the box. It comes with screen, spool holder. Okay, what, what, what screen? What is the screen in this case? Is that the control panel? Yes, the screen is the control panel in this case. Okay, we're eight minutes in, so 15 minutes. Not when you're a complete noob. Okay, so we have the screen. Uh, we have the PLA spool. Neon green. I got a neon green spool of, well, test filament. It, at least it's a reusable one. And, you know, I just paint everything. So I was hoping kind of for white, but just put that over here. Then we have the cable. Okie dokie, cable. The PTFE tube. Okay, whatever that may be. Uh, let's put you over here. And accessories. And this is the spool holder. Apparently that's on a very inconvenient spot. So let's see how it works. Maybe I need to move even more here. Some tools. A cleaning needle. And what's this for a box? A lot of tiny things, really a lot of tiny things. Nah, nah, this part was probably the one that's broken of my uh, previous one. But it's a lot trickier to replace than in this one. Um, let's see, what does it say? PFT, PTFE tube anchor. I have no idea what that is. Um, unknown, no designation. Well, hot end, but nothing written on it. And for scraper. So if you print a scraper for hot end, okay. For printed phone holder. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, moving the box. I'm already getting overheated, so let's drink a little bit. Hydrate. doesn't help that I also burnt my tongue with food again. Okay, so we're 10 minutes in and all we did is unpacking a little bit. Um, 
Okay, removal of protective foam, zip tie and cardboard. Remove the protective foam, excluding the foam under the heat bed. Okie dokie. This is dry uh, stuff. And there's another box in here. What are you? What are you? Wireless mouse components. So I think I saw this and then you can create your own little wireless mouse. So not sure if I'm going to do that, but it's it's something nice to do. Okay. Uh, used to give the print and send safe to paper and the frame on the heat bed can only move when the self test is finished. Remove the cardboard from the tool head. Okay. And we have a little zip tie here. Okay. It is a bit narrow, so there's a zip tie. And of course I blocked my trash can. Of course I did. Ah, let's put it on top. It's not something I can't see. Okay, remove the cardboard from the tool head. And in the next uh, picture, the cardboard is still on there. But okay. Removing cardboard. Moving cardboard. And remove the car, or remove the foam from the excess chute. I think that's this. Okay. Moving foam. Install spool holder and PEFE tube anchor assessor. Oh, great. And where is that? I think that's on the back, which is great because. It's not like I can easily reach the back at this point. Let's remove the screen for a moment. Let's put it on this chair. Because if I'm correct, well, I mean, I can um, spool holder assembly. Okay, so I think I can remove this one already. Um, for easier placement, I think I'm going to turn around because I can reach in here and grab my prints. So I'm just going to turn this around once more. Then I have three sides to grab my print. And I can somewhat easily replace the spool. Um, we have here spool holder. And now we need some screws. Where are they? For hot ends, for scraper, for extruder, for spool holder. We're in 15 minutes. Oh, and this place is way too hot. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little magnet dish because I always lose things like this. And that way I can't lose my screws. And let's put it over here. Okay, so. Um, Let's first do the spool holder. That's the first we're going to do. Let's move it one more bit. Spool holder assembly. And that has this side, but which is up. Close this up. Um, how about I grab myself a little wrench. Oh, it's sticky. Yee. And it has those nice. This is so easy to get lost. 
Oh, it even, even says top. Okay, so that, that's good. Sorry if I'm in frame, but uh, I kind of need to see what I'm doing. Uh, wait, that's the wrong spot. Spot is over here. Am I turning it the wrong side? Okay, let's first put the screws in here. Let's, let's do that first. Ouch. Okay, so if this is where, why is this one? Do I need to remove a screw? I think I need to remove this screw because this one's clear. Spool assembly here, and here's the other one. So I think I need to remove this screw just to get it. Okay. No, this one's pretty stuck. There we go. It's kind of weird, you need to remove a screw and then insert one. Oh, this one's already trying to get away. And I picked this one because it's open, so it can air, and uh, because you can print your own side plates. And considering I like to organize stuff, that was very, appealing okay and oh this is why it's such an annoying long one so you can stick it through here i know you can't really see it i tried but you have this uh, we call it an inbus key i have no idea what it's called in english and you can use it through the top it's long enough okay and then we Put this one in a little bit tighter. Okay. Can I still? No, this is pretty much tight. Yep. Put this through. Okay, and I'm going to open the door just to try and get a bit of fresh air in here um, there we go doors open means i can't shout okay and now we have to install the pefe tube anchor okay which one is that the ptfe tube anchor yes and where is that? Do we have a sticker for that? Where are we assembling that? I think over here. Or maybe here. How big is it? Um, can't really see where you need to place that. Okay. This doesn't really help. We have these screws, so these two holes, I think. <sighs> Great. Lost my manual. Can we please return to my manual? There, let's return. Okay, does it show? No, it does not show. So you had this nice sticker over here, but you don't have a sticker over here. It closed the unboxing again. Mm -hmm. So I guess these two parts. You have this part. So it should be these two, but it's not very clear. So 
Um, let's first do this one because that one's tricky. I'm sorry if I'm interview, by the way, it's, uh, we're working on the millimeters here. Of course, it's going in uh, not straight. Whew. Of course, I do this in the heat of summer. I think it needs to remain a bit loose, but how loose is a bit loose? Well, it doesn't really go much further, so. Make sure both ends of the PTFE tube are inserted tightly. Which one? Not the one. Okay, so. Wait. How do you want me to insert that if this is... Wait, how does this work? Oh, wait, it's the other side. Okay, doesn't get out. And then we need to do this. Doesn't really get out anywhere, okie dokie. Still looking at the chat. Uh, if you see in the back here, that's that's the chat. Okay. Step five. Heat bead unlock. Remove the free screws with Allen key H2 to unlock the heat bed. They have uh, stickers over there, so that's easy to find. Is that this one? Yep. Thus far, it is quite idiot friendly, but I need to turn it around. We're at 30 minutes. And just opening the box took about 10, so... Uh, I think we're at 15 minutes now. Okay, so this is one screw into the ball. There's one over here. This one is a lot easier to get. But still quite tricky and annoying. Okay, and the final one. Okay, three screws removed. Remove protective stickers. We have one here, cold swappable. It's a little uh, card, but I think this is their card with their uh, designs on it. Then we have this protective sticker we need to remove. Be careful because there's wire on there. 
Okay, that's that one, that's that one, and there should be here one over here. Yes, there is. Still haven't got any instructions about this one, so. Connect the LCD screen. Okay, that's going to be tricky. Where did I put the LCD screen? Over there. Insert the LCD cable into the port by plugging it into the thermal as pictured. You can't really see what's in the picture. It's too small. All right, I shouldn't uh, scream. Okay. We got the little fam and all. Ow. And now insert the black the screen back into the slot and that, that's the other one. Insert the LCD cable into the port by plugging it into the terminal as pictured. We're not really showing anything, guys, but there's only one way to plug it in and one place to plug it in. <sighs> So it should be this. Okay, I think it's stuck in there. Can I? No, not when I. Okay, and then insert the screen back into the slot on the printer, then lock it by pushing to the left. Okay, so. But the cable, what should I do with the cable? There we go. But I, oh, that's upside down. Okay. That makes a lot more sense when you want to slide it to the left. Put it in and slid it to the right. Okay. Bend the LCD cable towards the opening of the back of the screen. Um, that's a bit late, don't you think? So, oh, that's kind of stuck in there. Okay, this is something that's uh, not cool. You can't, yeah, yeah, you can't really get it out anymore. But I think. Uh, So if it's stuck, it's stuck, I guess. That's what you can do. Uh, that's a bit late to mention that, guys. Attach the power cable and start the printer. Power cable? Do hope it doesn't uh, short out things. And let's put it a bit to the back because I can't reach this that easily. Oh, this is the backest slot I still have. So re cable reorganization will follow one day. Cable in. Move aside manual. And which side are you? Okay, electricity plugged in. Okay, and then and start the printer. Okay. Well, goes on. Before use, please make sure that you've read the user manual carefully. Okay. Well, it's not talking about that screen just yet. Insert fil filament into the PTFE. Okay, well, I'm going to grab my own filament for that because that one's uh, the one I'm probably going to use more than once. Shouldn't matter. Nobody still mentioned about this tube up here. Is this a spare tube? I don't think so, but maybe it is. Oh, that's probably if you want to use a second uh, one or not. Uh, let's see. Spool. Okay. 
push the filament until it can no longer move forward. I have this one stuck under here, so I need to redo that. Otherwise, it should get tangled, and I don't want that. Okay. Guys, behave yourself. Okay, put it in. Until you can no longer put it in and again anymore. Okay, doesn't go any further. Complete the initialization self-test and upgrade the firmware. Once the print is turned on, follow the on-screen guide to complete the print your self-test. Don't forget to remove the fixed foam under the heat bed when the self-test is finished. Okay, uh, next. Yes, we removed the screws of the hot bed. Yes. Select region, Europe. Okay, um, now I need to use this one. So it will run in the back, assuming anyway. I need my barcode scanner because I want it on this phone, not on the other phone that's old. Great, doesn't want to scan. Try again. <sighs> Great. So this is already another flaw. Barcode scanner doesn't work. You can do setup later, I know, but Okay, I'm just going to manually download then the Bamboo Handy app. It's German, so I use a German accent. That doesn't sound German at all. Uh, just in case people tune out late in later, not sponsored. I paid all for this myself. Uh, the Play Store, where's the Play Store? There's here. And then the Bamboo Handy app. Okay, install. Uh, this is going to take a while. It's 100 MB. Really going to take a while. So, uh, 15 minutes. Uh -uh. Even with this, if you need to install something, take that into consideration as well. So the 15 minutes are not really uh, 15 minutes, but meanwhile, I can do a little bit of cleanup. Still had no mention of this, by the way. So is that still in here? Well, the downloads. No, they already removed that. Didn't mention it, but they already removed it. Where is my cutter here? Already assumed it had to go, but it wasn't mentioned. Okay. I still have no idea what this is, but I'm going to put it in here. Why, why, why do we have this extra tube? Do I need to remove the tube? Is the tube still here? There's nothing on the pictures about the tube. And there's only one tube. So, oh, wait. Get it now. Get it now. Oh, crap. I, I used the diff uh, wrong tube. I should have used this tube. But how do you remove it? Uh, wait, wasn't that push in? And then... Remove it. See, see, I'm learning, I'm learning. 
this is a spare tube and you need to insert this tube. Would have been nice if they mentioned that. Back, 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 back. Stuck, stuck. And let's move this again. So uh, Bamboo, if you're seeing this, I'm, I'm an absolute noob. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. And this is what I struggle with. Apple still is at 30%. Okay, so we have this open. Do I still need to open it? Because this is nice. It only has... I think I don't need to remove anything here. Doesn't mention anything like that in the manual anyway. Thus far, I'm not dissatisfied. It's just that I don't know what I'm doing. And while I wait, let's hydrate. And sit down for a change. So let's see. Maybe remove the white stuff under the bed. No, 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 no. Do not remove the white stuff under the bed. It specifically says do not move that until initialization is done. So I'm following the manual. And the manual says do not remove just yet. Don't forget to remove the fixed foam under the heat bed when the self-test is finished. And it's not self-testing just yet. So maybe this QR code only scans when you have the app, by the way. We'll find it out. Uh, we're at 60%. It's 10 o'clock. And uh, if this, uh, this at least works, the setup works and all, then... Uh, I don't think I st I'll start printing an, uh, until either first day or even this weekend. Because I have to slice everything that I need to slice. There's one I need to redo. Uh, a lot of need to be uh, uh, redone. So one I, I need to actually edit the file and one and needs to, and well, a whole bunch of things need to be uh, sliced for this so uh, as you can see i will even have even less space but that means i need to get creative and uh, not have my paint laying around because considering everything is pretty much painted i should be able to clean it up so maybe this weekend okay we're at 90 percent uh, bumbo handy this is such a slow app or at least for installing but it's probably my phone And we're already at 45 minutes. So um, this is about past the uh, acceptable if you claim it's uh, set up in 15 minutes. Only if you have a lot of pre-work done. So the claim of 15 minutes, nope. Okay, it's now installing. So it just download, now installing. And there is a camera in here that should be able to make a time lapse as well. Okay. Do not go on the dead page. I did not ask that. You can go over here. The Bamboo Handy app. I agree. Um, why would you need to know that? 
and then I think you'll need devices. Bind your print and start printing adventure. Bind printer. <sighs> you need to make an account first. I have such a short email address. Okay, get code. Invalid or already taken? Wait, 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 wait. I do have an account. Uh, and my password is somewhere in here. And uh, I, I kind of don't want people to uh, see things like that. So I'm going to move the camera just a little bit. Sorry if I'm out of focus for that because privacy and all. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not what I clicked. And I made a random generated password, which is very annoying in this case. Okay. I have a tendency to name things, which I shouldn't do at this moment. Why is that in here? Uh, squiggle or squiggle? Okay, sign in, allow, because we want to scan the QR code. There we go. Um, how about I enter? Well, fine. Oh, great. Mosquito. That's just what I needed. Can we bring that back a bit? There we go. Confront and bound. If printer's Bluetooth pair request a PPRP, double click and confirm and click later. Bluetooth failed. Okay, so Bluetooth off, Bluetooth on, open the app. Accept, pair and connect, allow, pair. And yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's what you need to do. Again, this proves this is not that easy. Okay, so we're going to try again. Pair request, pair, pair and connect, 
pair and OK. This is the one. And that's a very annoying password. See if I typed it right in one go. Okay, at least it's connecting. Only supports 2.4 gigahertz network. Okay. <sighs> well, at least I'm not getting an error, so I guess that's uh, nice. Checking the connection with the printer. So it timed out already. Please connect it to the same network. Great. There we go again. So it said it timed out. And otherwise I'm just going to skip that and do that later when I'm not uh, overheating at 10 p.m. I should have decent uh, internet network over here. But you could do the setup later, so uh, I might try that later on. Invalid password. Where did I make the typo? Ah, there, I made the typo. Told you it's an annoying uh, password. Because you need to have it connected to the internet to, to uh, update the uh, firmware. Which they also recommend. Maybe not on the lamp time, time out cancel. For time, that's the final time I'm going to do it. Because I might need some help with that, but uh, if the only part is the internet part, then uh, skip because I can't self test. After the self-test is complete, you can uh, Woo, that's making noises. Hmm, that's something I, but how can you connect it if you don't even? Hmm. 
me, can I do something about here? Settings. So the only thing I can do right now is binding the printer. It just doesn't want to do that. Okay, everything goes shaky shaky now. We're in the, uh, at an hour now. So uh, I can put, turn this off by the way. You don't need that. Okay. It's making a lot of noises and it scares me. If I can work from... Uh... Okay, yes, yes, uh... Please make sure the red is music. Make sure to remove the screw of knees. Please select your region. Scan the printer, confront the bytes, check like your Wi-Fi. After the self-test is finished. Well, that's probably still going to. Self-testing is not done yet, so I shouldn't remove it yet. So I think that after this, if I can't get it to a pair later on. Then I'll just uh, put in a help uh, thingy, or I'll just uh, ask my uh, my love if he has any idea how to do that. But that's something for later. Oh, I really dislike that noise. Seriously? It's good you don't hear it because it's quite scary. But self-test is almost done. self print proceed. Now I can remove the phone. There we go. And let's see. Sticker device. Oh, this is the files. Well, we're going for the Banshee. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. So the 
app just needs to be connected and it's printing right now, so that will be done later. So it's heating up. The bed is already heated up. Oh no, not, not the bed. It says 26 minutes. And so instead of the bed moving, it's the head moving. Yeah, you can do a printer history as soon as. Uh... Okay, so now it needs to heat up again. I think the filament. And now it needs to cool down again. Shaky, shaky. Is making a lot of pre noises. It goes all over the place. Except printing, there's nothing printing just yet. But it's also not on the right position yet. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, I think it's now uh, lining out. Because it didn't do that just yet, so. Okay, the startup does it take a lot longer than uh, my previous one. And I think this is auto leveling. Say warning hot surface. Yeah, not that hot. Are we almost there? So they say you can print the bench in about 15 minutes. Yeah. 
Yep. Starting up. As if you're starting a game. Nothing is happening. There's no filament coming out. Absolutely nothing is coming out. Why is there no filament coming out? Uh, let's see, self test, remove the fixed phone. Okay. Wait, I had a help over here. That might be easier. Me. Settings, support tickets, devices, signers. No, I need help. Why is there no filament coming out? Assuming anyway, you can't. This goes all the way in. Okay. Bamboo lab, no filament coming out. Nozzle clock and extrude. Okay, if you have a spare now, we'll try it. Wait. But I only just installed it. There's, there's no clock possible. The video. I guess I'm going to try to reset the video. Okay, there's no information at all. Did I forget to to not unplug and where the power is on? Okay, so that's not an issue. Can I pull it back? Yes, so it did not grip it. Let's try it again. <sighs> hmm. Didn't have it uh, correctly closed, okay. Warning, what does it say? Great. It has a warning, but I have no idea what the warning is. Oh. Oh, okay. 
try it again. So now it heats up again. And otherwise I just have to try it tomorrow evening again because uh, I have no idea. This is how the beginning of the software and source from the principles when addressing this one. You may have a clock. How can you have a clock if it? Okay, what they're going to say here. Okay, continue. On the first one, on the first one. So apparently, it can have trouble issues catching the filament. Prime the filament. So it's saying it um, might not grab the filament. It is possible that the gears fail to grip the film problem and it's grinding with snips and put it back in. Well, I'm not seeing the 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 filament moving at all. My uh, spindle, my roll. Well, if it doesn't work, I'll try it again with a new snippet. No, nothing coming out. Okay.
I think it grabbed it. I see movement. The spindle is moving. Spindle is moving. I see a little bit of filament on the bed. It seems to be coming out a little bit. Or not, maybe. Did I see it spark? I think the filament is colder now again. So it should be positioning itself again. We've got filament. Guys, we've got filament. And it's actually printing now. Quite fast, actually. And yes, it's indeed quite noisy, but we're making a Vinci now. And it should have about 20 minutes, but my whole desk is completely zzzzing. There's some filament over here that needs to be tossed in the scrap pack. But I gotta admit, this is pretty fast. And of course, this is not top quality at all, so. But I'm, I'm curious. So, uh, thus far, um, not as e user-friendly as they say, for complete noobs. Um, it does take more than 50 minutes to set up. Haven't been able to connect it with my phone just yet, but uh, that's not much of an issue if I can work with a card. Um, it is indeed noisy and also quite movie so i do have the anti uh well other thingies feet so i'll install that later with help but not touch myself oh by the way you guys don't see it but i have a little visitor guess which color i got <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're printing a Banshee and it's quite, quite fast. And uh, by the way, this is a reusable spoon. So you can buy uh, refills and you don't have to get a new spool. So better for the environment, but they don't have recycled uh, PLA. Oh, 
hydrate. Let's hydrate. But I bet that if you have it uh, less fast, it will be uh, also a lot less earthquakey. <laughs> Still says about 18 minutes. So yeah, all that's left is uh, is hooking it up with a phone, and then I can check from a distance and all. But that's not a priority. Priority is getting it first. Uh, my own slice pingies software i don't even know where i put my first banshee but i will save all my banshees they are my pride okay the camera's going off for a moment don't worry, I will return because someone wants to look at it from up close but not be on camera. One moment. So I think the audio was off as well. So 15 minutes left. But yeah, this is, this is very shaky. Uh, let's see if someone else joined. I don't think because there are only two watchers, so. So I didn't change anything of the settings. And if you can work from a car, that's fine for me. I have a different camera that uh, I can connect to. I have my webcam, so, and I don't really think anyone is interested in time lapses. Maybe someone is one day, but and then I probably have it hooked up. It might be just an uh, an issue with uh, my phone. That my phone is too old for this. Okay, so the deck is being uh, filled. Let's see if I can uh, grab uh, the camera a bit closer. So, uh, camera's going to move. And yes, it is that shaky. Let's see if I can move it a little bit closer. So it is quite aggressive. It's 
So I think I'm going to try a different phone as well. See if I can connect with that as well. But uh, let's let's grab my old phone. I don't think it's going to work, but so yeah, it's uh, probably not going to work and print at the same time because my whole desk is absolutely moving. Sounds like a sewing machine. Um, right, let's let's try just my old phone. Bluetooth on. Where's the Bluetooth? Bluetooth is over here. Seriously, this is uh, absolutely a lot of movement. But uh, 10 minutes left. But pretty much there's nothing on this desk that uh, can be damaged that much. I wish I knew where my old bench was so I could compare, but uh, I guess this is uh, it. Oh, the bamboo handy is a lot bigger file and size on this one. You know, I think bench is a classic. You just have to do that. Ten minutes left. Maybe one day I'll move it somewhere else. Stupid mosquito, go away. And maybe if I move it like that, then I just have to I think it might fit over there, but then I need to move this cabinet and then I don't know where that cabinet's going to be because I kind of need that cabinet as well. But that will be a future problem. Put it behind the door here. And then I then can't use those drawers. So I just, uh, I might need to move it to, to another place and then I need to find a place for a tiny cabinet. I think I can put it over here then. I can put it on the desk, of course. Not the best place, but at least I could do that. And I could put it instead of my table, I could put it on my uh, my cabinet. That's a bit more solid than the desk. So is there a bit of okay? Where did this part of poop of filament come from? spit out a poop of filament. I heard me someone mentioning that. Okay, um, this is installed. And then we need to hook up my account. It's not in frame, so I can show that.
So I'm probably going to move things. And then the password was a bit tricky now that everything is moving. Paint down, paint down. Not a paint down. Incorrect password. Okay. About five minutes left, and then we're going to try and pair it uh, with this uh, phone, see if that works. And if that fails, then I'm just uh, going to call it quits for today for uh, I think uh, with all filaments, uh, I'm going to do a banshee. I think this table is too much of a movable object. For it to be uh, a good stable surface. So there's five minutes left. It's at the arch now. Then I seriously need to get to bed. <laughs> but I am kind of high on adrenaline at the moment. If there's no stringing on this uh, printer, or at least less stringing, then it would save me a lot of cleanup time as well. Can get this off, assuming anyway. I believe they say you should uh, use a scraper to get it off. This goes off way easier. You also have plates uh, that you can have special effects, but that would always be the back. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to paint over everything. So that's kind of useless for me. There is absolutely no stringing. So yeah, that's that's the thing I'm going to do. Um, first, I'm going to try to get everything back in the box so uh, we can put the box into storage. I'm going to remove that desk over there. Uh, 
phone's almost out of battery anyway, so. Uh... can move and on top of this you could uh, put uh, extra filaments but I kind of have a thing with a door Doing the roof now. Stupid mosquito. I think I got bit again. Ah, filament is stuck. Okay, so there's enough filament over there, but it's stuck on the on the loop thingy. Okay, so this is stuck and you are done, but I need to fix this. There we go. Because for the next sprint, otherwise the filament's gonna get stuck. It's, uh, it's kind of loopy. But, okay, is it now loose again? Okay, there we... I think this solves it, or at least I hope. Should be loose again. Okay, now, Benji, print finish. Okay. Gonna let that cool down for a moment. Uh, not logged in. Please configure. Let's just gonna try it once. Devices bind printer. Okay, I think that's this one. We have a pair number over there. Okay. 
from the bind. Building connection. Okay, my battery is empty. I can't, uh, I don't think I can. Last try. Nope, nope. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Maybe my battery is down. Maybe I need to restart everything. I'm uh, gonna call it quits. And I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow or whatever. Let's see, can I? There we go. Goes off that easily. And here we go with our benchy. It looks great. No stringing. So we're going to try it uh, at least another time. So uh, uh, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye.